sorry, needed a sip. I love coffee in the morning. Hey, um, question I've asked a lot of times, how to cold call. I look at cold calling as different. I, uh, truth be told, when I first started sales, I hated cold calling. And I know most of you feel the same way. Cold calling, so my mom said the same thing everybody's mom said, don't talk to strangers. We grow up that way, it's in our subconscious all the time. Strangers may be dangerous, right? Especially when we're small, same thing we tell our children. But when we grow up in the big bad world, we gotta talk to strangers, right? Especially if we're in sales or communication, we're trying to persuade somebody to our ideas. Cold calling is uncomfortable to me personally. At one time in my life, I would rather do anything rather than make a cold call, pick up this phone, talk to a st total stranger, and have them be snippy to me, hang up on me, take me off your list. Or do you ever get that phone call when you're cold calling? And, and why is that? Are these bad people? Of course not. They're not bad people. Think about yourself when you get a cold call, when you're interrupted at dinner, how do you feel about that person? You rage at them. You have the right. They're an uninvited guest. So stop acting like, don't convert all your cold calls to warm calls. All you simply have to do is act like you're getting back to that person. Act like you're returning a call. If you have their phone number, say, tell the truth. Hey, Mr. or Mrs. Prospect, I have your phone number in front of me. How can I help you today? Well, you called me. Well, you, that's right, sir. This is this about real estate? Is this about buying life insurance? Um, is it time? Did you? Uh, are you interested in a new car? Whatever it is, learn to start asking questions. These are called pattern interrupts that lead to questions. Start, sound completely different on the phone. Have some fun with this, okay? I'm a happy guy because I if I did cold calls all day the way most people do, God, I'd hate it. I give me, let me scrub a toilet or something rather than make those cold calls. Cold calls are uncomfortable because people don't like you. They reject you. Who the heck wants to do that all day? So what you do is do pattern interrupts. By that, I mean, say something completely different. Mr. and Mrs. Prospect, hi, um, how come your home didn't sell? You know, well, I had a bad, and then they get emotional and they just start spouting, oh, I had a bad realtor, it's the markets, the economy, it's the weather. They start interacting with you because you didn't start out, hi there, I'm just reaching out to you today. Do you think you have enough aluminum siding, insurance, dental floss? See, you sound like a salesperson, you're gonna get 9900% rejection. And you know what, that affects your ego and you can't do it all day long, it's actually depressing. And that's why a lot of us hate cold calls. My theory is, let's con most people are good people, okay? I know there's a couple flaming nuclear you-know-whats out there, but for the most part, convert your cold calls Make sure that there's something logical about the call too. Don't just call people from a list and things like that. If, if you've seen my videos, do some virtual attraction marketing so you don't have to do cold calls. If you're in a business where people advertise for you to call, then do the pattern interrupt, which leads to questions. I had to ask you this question, Mr. and Mrs. Prospect. Maybe you can help me out. Um, boom, boom, boom. Get them emotionally involved and you'll see magic happen. Your cold calls will be wonderful calls. They will convert to sales. You will feel better about yourself. And as I always say, you'll see magic happen. And if you can, the logic, the logic really is, it's pretty simple. If you make enough calls and you have enough comfortable conversations, they feel good, you feel good, you develop some kind of rapport, you're gonna make money, you're gonna feel good about yourself, and you're gonna make more calls. The more calls you make, the greater the likelihood of a sale. This is Claude Diamond with another gut sales moment. No one, no one deserves success more than you. I say this all the time. Give me a thumbs up on this video if you like it. Uh, hit the subscribe button, the bells, all the stuff that you know what to do already. I have a very intelligent audience. And um, go to my webpage. I got a lot of free stuff like that. I still have the letter of intent folder that's free. It's on my webpage, ClaudeDiamond.com. And good selling. Take care.